Look, I was naive when I first got into crypto. So here are three mistakes crypto newbies tend to make that are costing them tens of thousands of dollars. The first mistake is not being self-sufficient. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, pretty basically, it just means do your own research. We see time and time again, people in the space. I did this myself. You go out and if you want to invest in a project, you form consensus on what all the YouTubers are saying or Twitter influencers, right? Okay, 80% of people say it's a good quality project. They say it's going to go up 100x in price in the next bull run. Sweet, I trust them. Well, chances are a lot of those influencers are only one page ahead of you in terms of their understanding of that project. Chances are some of them don't even know what they're talking about themselves, okay? It's pretty much they're just regurgitating the information they heard from another YouTuber, okay? And I see this time and time again and that's why i like to bring you guys factual objective information if i don't know it myself i don't teach it also i reach out to pretty much every single project i review just to make sure that i'm getting you the right information but not every youtuber is like that and that's by no means me saying you should listen to what i say the moral of the story is be self-sufficient okay and i know doing your own research sounds horrifying and very tiresome but i've actually tailored or you know got three different tools. They're free tools that I use every single time I look at a project and before I get into the nitty gritty of the project. And again, they're all free and they're super powerful. Now, the first one is actually called the Layer 1 Flywheel and the video on screen right now is from Ali from Anderson Horowitz and he actually goes into quite a bit of detail on how to utilize the Layer 1 Flywheel plus some other important factors as well. So you guys should watch that and apply the Layer 1 Flywheel to all of your research. Now the second is pretty much online defensibility, right? A company called NFX, they created these four online defensibilities that are pretty much like the pinnacle of what a cryptocurrency or, or an online business should be following to scale and grow their company and brand, right? The most powerful being network effects. And this is what I actually use in all of my cryptocurrencies, but understanding all four is powerful. And these guys actually have 12 free online courses you can go and actually you know, subscribe to and watch that are gonna teach you everything you need to know. Now, the third and last, but definitely not least, is memetics, right? This is pretty much boiling down what the actual cryptocurrency's USP or unique selling point is, so that you can assess and go, okay, is this gonna propagate? Are people gonna be able to get behind this and easily tell their friends? And that way it'll spur up demand very, very quickly. And that's why meme coins catch so much demand and shoot up in price very, very quickly. Now, the second is don't get FOMO. FOMO is the one-stop shop to getting yourself wrecked. And overall, it just brings your whole DCA price up, okay? Which is very bad. You want to keep that as low as possible for the most returns you possibly can get. Now, the guys in charge, the market makers, these guys want you to feel FOMO. They want your lizard brain to feel like you're missing out because chances are they're the ones dumping on you when you're trying to buy at the very top of a market, okay? So just be careful buy when it's red, not when it's green. Of course, not financial advice. Now, how do you know if you've got FOMO? Well, if you're like me and you're a pretty respectable person, you don't carry your phone around with you all day. But even if you do, and you're checking your phone all day, every day, especially at work when you're not supposed to, and you're feeling heavy emotions, good or bad, when you check the price of your cryptocurrencies, chances are you have FOMO. So how do you stop this? Well, what I do is I'll look at the macro market on the seven day. If it's 10% down, I will look at my favorite projects and find the one that is the lowest and I'll DCA into that project, okay? If you're looking at strict projects, the same thing can apply, right? You go into that project itself. If it's down 10% on the 24 hour even, I like to look at the seven day. I invest. If not, I'm a robot. I just don't do it. If I miss out, I miss out. It's as simple as that because you will get wrecked. Now, this is not the plug, but I have a guy called Daniel. He owns a company called Clear the Path. And he's actually helped me overcome mentally this feeling of FOMO. And he's right now doing it with my Patreon students every single week. So if you really struggle with this, again, I'm not trying to sort of push this onto you. I would suggest checking out my Emerald tier, paying for a month, getting four sessions, and just seeing how you feel at the end of it. And the third, guys, is follow new trends, but do not fall for fun. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, what I've gotten into the habit of doing every single morning is opening up multiple different crypto news aggregate websites that pretty much have, you know, aggregate news from different website articles and publishers that I go through and just read the headlines of, right? Get an idea of what's happening in the market on that day or in that week. And if it's substantial news, I obviously will find that there's multiple different 
publishers producing the same sort of topic and I'll go in and read you know the different sort of variations and the different data presented from those different publishers okay now I look at multiple aggregate websites and don't worry I've got a list on screen now of the ones that I actually go ahead and use and yeah I make sure that the information that I'm provided isn't just FUD from one you know sort of publishers across multiple different publishers and and actually this way I was able to find the you know the USDC collapse or the DPEG you know hours and hours before it actually happened and then you know make sure my funds were secure obviously thank god it's all been you know sorted and, and, and fixed right now but nevertheless that was a great way that I could have saved myself tens of thousands of dollars okay so again get yourself into the habit you cannot trust crypto influencers on any platform to bring you the news promptly the chances are by the time it's taken them to make a video that they're happy with and to publish that you know it could take hours and hours and hours which sometimes can be the difference between you saving your money or losing all of your money okay so that's my tip number three now my tip number four is pretty important right and this is a bit of a bonus and that is find a mentor okay it can be anyone you respect that provides really good advice at least you think so and that can be crypto and non-crypto hopefully financially right or, or technologically or if you can't do that or you don't trust anyone establish a group of friends go into different chat groups go into different youtube sections whatever it might be however you do it go to your local cities you know crypto meetup find people you can connect with and talk with on a daily or even weekly basis and bounce ideas off you know the more eyes you have on a project or the more experience the better now with that being said guys thank you so much hopefully this has helped some of you beginners and if not at least just open your eyes a little bit into what you should be looking at when it comes to crypto and investing thanks so much for watching guys i can't wait to see you all in the next one take care